We are in Trentino, in the north of Italy. What you see is the ECT star, the European Center for Theoretical Studies in Nuclear Physics and Related Areas of the Bruno Kessler Foundation in Trento. The ECT star is located in the beautiful 350 years old Villa Tambosi. ECT stars plays the role of a so-called transnational access center within the Hydron Physics project of the seventh framework program of the European Commission. We are here with Professor Achim Richter, who is presently heading this international center. Can you tell us what is the role of this institution in the European nuclear physics community? ECT star is a member of the Nuclear Physics European Collaboration Committee, NUPEC, and uh, it is concerned with fundamental research. It has been founded in 1993 and with about 700 visiting scientists per year from all over the world, spending from a week to several months at the center, EST Star has achieved high visibility and uh, a coordinating function in the European and international scientific community. The goals uh, of the uh, research center are uh, to arrange in-depth research on topical problems at the forefront of developments in nuclear and hadron physics, to foster interdisciplinary contacts between nuclear and hadron physics and neighboring fields such as particle physics, astrophysics and condensed matter physics, to encourage talented young physicists by arranging for them to participate in the activities of the ECT STAR by organizing training projects and establishing networks of young researchers and most importantly to strengthen the interaction between theoretical and experimental studies. What role does the ECT STAR play as a transnational access centre for European research? The importance uh, of ECT STAR for European research lies in its mission. It creates the necessary conditions for excellence and state-of-the-art research in hadron physics by foreign collaborations and bringing together specialists from all over Europe and the rest of the world. It offers furthermore to the European research teams a natural forum for holding workshops and collaboration meetings to discuss results and tackle problems and exchange ideas. It promotes coordination uh, of uh, European research efforts, preventing isolation of smaller research groups, particularly in the less favorable regions of the community, strengthening the mobility of the European researchers and putting them in a strong worldwide uh, competitive environment. Besides running workshop, collaboration meetings and doctoral training program, is there any other activity? Yes, uh, indeed, uh, East Star has a very lively in-house research group consisting presently of 10 junior and senior postdoc researchers from all over Europe. In which way would you see ECT STAR as a transnational access activity contributing to the benefits of the society? Since uh, 1993, some 11,000 researchers from 50 different countries, about two-thirds coming from the European member states, uh, have visited the centre, experiencing intensive training and exchange of ideas. The society as a whole has clearly benefited both from the advancement in basic science as well as the development of the uh, collaboration on a global scale. As a final question, why do you think should young people choose to study science and why should they do it in Europe? In short, science trains the curious mind 
to ask the correct questions and provides the tools to look for answers. This is far from easy but very rewarding. As an example, consider questions about the origin and the evolution of the universe. Answers to these questions are very much linked to nuclear and hadronic physics, that is, to basic science. And Europe, with its many theoretical and experimental facilities, is simply ideal for studying this subject.